This is Kulali and her owner Garth. Garth was a successful engineer who started building Kulali as his final life project. Unfortunately, Garth never got to see her finished. I've been lucky enough to take the challenge on of completing her build and one day to sail her around the world. Similar to Garth, I'm a passionate engineer who loves to know how things work and how to build things. Join me on this journey to bring Garth's dream to life. This is Sailing Kulali. Welcome back, it's day 14 now. And uh, yesterday we tried starting this motor. We used some contact cleaner to get it kicked over, so that was good. Apparently, uh, Bill said there was a lot of compression, but the fuel pump is all gummed up because the fuel inside here is 34, 35, 36 years old. And that's what we've got to clean up. So I'm gonna try and open up each of the lines and check today. So what we've learnt now is that this is your low pressure pump. It pumps fuel from the tanks into this unit here. And this is a K4D fuel high pressure pump. And that basically pressurizes and sends fuel to these four uh, injectors. I think we're gonna try and open that. So I'm using these clamps to grab onto the filter and then hopefully turn it. And it was a lot harder than what you're seeing now. So feel privileged. Oh. Lots of diesel's gonna come out of this shit. Oh. So now we're going to take off this cap and then after I take that off, I can take this line off and then there's more access to that pump so we can see what's going on. This is off, now I'm gonna start taking the injectors out. All right, so these are the injectors about to come out. It's a bit worrying because you can see how much rust there is in there. But let's plug it out. Yeah, wow. I don't, I'm not a diesel mechanic, but that's not amazing, is it? So these are the, um, this is the fuel pump, high pressure side. And so the idea is that fuel was obviously getting into here, definitely, but it wasn't pumping out of that. So I'm gonna slowly open this up and try not to fuck it up. Really hope nothing falls apart here. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, you can see it's super dirty. There's like shit all over this. So against the advice of the mechanic, Bill, I have opened these up. I nearly cooked it already because some parts nearly fell down into there. But you can see how sludgy that stuff is in there. Like if I move. Yeah. All right, so what's happening is when I turn this um, crank over, only one of the pistons is going up and down. And the, these two that I've opened up aren't at all. So what, like that makes sense because yesterday there was no fuel coming out of that, but there was fuel coming out of that. So obviously there's something wrong with these two here. Um, in here there's like a cam so it's a bit worrying because it looks like that's stuck in the top position um oh 
Well, that could be good actually, because these two are st stuck in the top position. So I might see if I bring this one up, these should be down. So it, it might be a matter of the spring underneath is just a bit seized. So let's try that. Okay, I've been too scared to take this fuel pump off, but what I've realized is when I spin the crankshaft, this piston was going all the way up. Um, it, the bronze bit inside was coming up and then that outer ring was staying where it was. So basically you have the piston going up and down and the outside rings like the sleeve. <sighs> the other ones weren't moving at all and they were all stuck in the top uh, position of their stroke, which means that the inside sleeve wasn't able to go down by itself. It was stuck. So what, how they go down by themselves is the, the springs that we just took out. So I'm hoping once I clear these up, I've been hitting it with a little small, small, small hammer and like a little uh, punch and that has freed up that cylinder there. So I'll show you that now. Bit of wobble. So as I spin this, you can see that went, went down. And then as I turn this, it comes back up. So that's moving now. And this one, oh, sorry about the wobble. So that's the first piston coming up. You can see that. So basically, that's meant to be pushed down. And that piston's reached pretty much at the top of its stroke. So that one's come up, so I've got to push that down. So that's where it's been a bit tight. I'm going to hit that gently. So what I've done is, so this is, <clears throat> I've turned it so that that has pushed up that piston, but that's pushed that whole sleeve up, right? And see how if I try to push that down, it doesn't really want to go back down. So it means there's a bit of uh, bind between the little piston and that big sleeve on the outside. So what I've been doing is trying to remove that bind. And so then hopefully the pump will start working again. All right, so this is the last one. All the rest are all cleaned. This is the last one that, even though that piston is up, I can't push this sleeve down, not very easily. So all I'm gonna do is tap it with a punch, like this, tap, 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 and then that will end up being down. So I just finished tapping that, and you can see now the sleeve has gone down. So now I'm gonna rotate that so that the, um, the sleeve goes down again. So that's the sleeve down now. So another piston's rising up, so that one's gone down. And I'm gonna now raise that piston back up and the sleeve will come back up with it. So now that's up again. So if I tap that down, I'll tap it with a hammer and that's going back down. All right, so all four pistons are going up and down freely. Um, so yeah, that's really good. I'll have to bleed the, or drain all the oil because I put acetone in there. Hopefully that didn't do anything too bad. Um, but basically, when we turn that over, it should now pump diesel throughout all of these. So we'll try that. All right, now I'm just gonna put everything back together. The intake, the, yeah, all the stuff. All right, so everything's back on. I've just put that on loosely and I've put that on loosely or just left it there. And the idea is when I have a new fuel filter, I will feed fresh diesel through the whole system and see whether anything comes out. Hopefully the pump's all good after this, after today. Yep, so we'll see that on the next day of the engine build. All right, now the engine's all away waiting for the other parts to come. The next job we're gonna do is this is one of the panels from inside the boat. You can see there's a bit of, a lot of oxidation, but just on the surface. So instead of mechanically abrading it, I wanna see if I can use a high pressure cleaner. And if that comes up nice, then I'll do the whole boat with a high pressure cleaner. Mm. I don't think that's any better really. Hmm. So the <clears throat> high pressure cleaner didn't work, but I quickly, very quickly, I'm talking less than 20 seconds, and I sanded that back and it's pretty nice. So I think I'll have to do that throughout the boat just to get it to a nice clean surface. It'll be easier to keep, uh, you know, just 
maintain and whatever else, I think, I think.